Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my newest mock. Well if you know anything about me I am a gearhead. I have always played with cars and to me a city would not be complete without a car dealership. And just a heads up I plan on building a Ford dealership as well. And I thought this location in my city would be the perfect spot to put two car dealerships. What gave me the idea is I took my car in for service on Friday to get an oil change and the tires rotated. And while dropping my car off, I thought, you know what, this would make a great building. So I jumped on Google, started doing a little research, and here we have it. Now I started with a much smaller dealership to begin with because I was trying to keep things compact. And after building it, I just felt, you know what, it doesn't quite look right. So I had to add the little service department off to the far side of it. And I just feel it made it really come alive. Because no dealership is complete without having a service department. Now, I don't have a lot of cars in the parking lot at this particular moment in time. But I feel with the current economic times, having an empty dealership lot is kind of suiting. As far as the interior goes, I just did some really basic details. I put a couple desks and two cubicles for the salesman along with some clothing racks and helmets for people to purchase accessories for their cars. And even in the service bay, I put some hubcaps and tires on the walls for people that are coming in for service to see different things that they could purchase for their cars as well. The best part about this dealership, though, is the fact that it is illuminated. And I did some really neat tricks to do that. With the way that I built the roof, there's actually a large hollow cavity up above everything in this particular build, which allowed me to put a bar across and add lights to the ceiling, which really makes the building come alive along with all the light poles in the parking lot. Now, originally I designed these poles to be used as street lights throughout my city. One of my favorite things about this particular build is the entrance. The entrance has the old metal bars that you would always see at gated entrances for dealerships. And what these were intended on is to keep people from being able to steal the cars and driving out, along with the chained fence line at the front. I don't think this particular setup is as common to see today, but I still thought it was some really neat detail to add to this particular build. Now hopefully I'm going to get this placed into the city over the next few days, and then when I do a city update, you can see it illuminated in the location that I have intended for it. Now if you like this mock and want to see more, don't forget to check out this playlist here.